of Alex Ansari to address council regarding increased military, naval, and homeland security presence in the city. Good morning. Welcome to the city council chambers. <clears throat> My name is Alex Ansari. Good morning, Mayor Adams and members of the council. I'm here today to share my concerns for the safety and security of Portland in light of the direction that our nation is going at this time. In the YouTube.com video posted in January 2009, Mary Adams said, and I quote, I know I made big mistakes and I ask you for your forgiveness. I pledge to you, I will work harder than I have ever worked before to make sure Portland meets its challenges. And I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that because that's why I'm here. I'm here to discuss some of those challenges that I feel that our city is going to be facing in the future such as the federal takeover of our beloved city when a certain type of national disaster or state of emergency is declared by the executive branch of the U.S. government. Time does not allow me to document already what has been proved to be facts, such as numerous reports of hundreds of thousands of U.S. troops incrementally being redeployed to operate under the command of NORTHCOM in the event of civil unrest. What time does allow is the point to be made that although your predecessor, Tom Potter, is no longer the mayor, the clandestine plans for continuity of government in Portland remain firmly intact. Top Off 4 stands for Top Officials 4. This was the huge federally funded anti-terror drill that took place in our city between October 15th and the 19th, 2007. On the surface, official story, this was a simulated joint response to a terrorist dirty bomb attack, capitalizing on the fear generated, generated by the events of 9-11, the same day that our government is used to justify the deaths of well over 1.4 million innocent people in Iraq and Afghanistan. In reality, it was another example of a taxpayer-funded exercise in the millions where multiple alphabet soup agencies of the U.S. government, including the CIA and DOD and FBI, practiced directing the city of Portland's emergency response. At a press conference at PIR, Governor of Oregon, Ted Kulongoski, Kulongoski jokingly said in a statement posted on Willamette Week's YouTube channel, but this has been a great exercise for me. I'm actually going to fall into a trap and something serious is going to happen to me and I'll have to trigger the succession clause of the Constitution who becomes the governor in a time of emergency. I've been told the only thing I have to worry about is when they start putting the rubber gloves on. That's a quote from our governor. Moving forward to late 2008, Oregon Representative Peter DeFazio voiced his concerns about the real plans for continuity of government before the House floor in Congress. DeFazio protested the fact that as a member of the Homeland Security Committee, he was not allowed to see the plans, raising, con raising concerns that perhaps this was because of what truly lies in those plans, something that the public would find alarming. Portland, uh, Oregon also had black helicopters swarming on uh, Monday, August 25, 2008, which alarmed people that didn't know what was going on. And the former mayor authorized live fire and uh, live rope insertion and other things. In conclusion, I ask the city council to stand with the people, not the federal government, because you may very well be the city council when this hits the fan. And so I ask you to stand with the Bill of Rights and Constitution and be very, very careful about what money you take from the federal government because that money comes with strings attached. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony, sir. Uh, Carla, can you please read council communications item number 532?